Jason called me like one o'clock this afternoon. Told me I can take this load in tomorrow morning and there's a trailer waiting on me so I can go pick up my next load. That, that, don't kiss me in my mouth. Problem is, I have zero faith that that load's gonna be ready at Tyson and Hillsboro. five people get scammed into paying for some dude's gas. Come in there and he's like, he played pretend like he didn't get fuel. Like he, like, he paid him, told him, like he told him the wrong pump and someone else stole the fuel. And now he's out of gas and he, he got no more money. Like five different people gave him like, like five bucks to get gas. Like you all know, that's a scam. <laughs> like pretty easily provable one. They have cameras. tell if there's anyone here or not. Pretty quiet if there's anyone here. I tried to call the number that I have for it because there's a sign saying you have to check in before you enter, which is confusing. I didn't just set this alarm off.
pretty sure I set that alarm off the door. I didn't break in, I just opened the door. It's awkward. They got music playing. I might be completely blown away here. Jason's saying that that Tyson load is ready. It's built out and ready. Which would be real, real cool. I wanted to uh, double check that it was cool that I dropped a dry van in here because last time I pulled a dry van, they planned a load for me and they kind of forgot the fact that I had a dry van. Make sure that wasn't the case today. There we go. Diesel! There you are, Zoomer. <laughs> Always panic a little bit when I can't see him because when he was uh, barely not a puppy anymore, I let him out at the pilot in Cheyenne, Wyoming. And he disappeared for about two hours. I almost gave up on him. I thought he was just gone. And he finally... <sighs> finally made himself known again. Hi, buddy. Zoom and zoom and zoom zoom. Sound like gunshots. I mean, I guess I'm in the country, so. Diesel! Come on, boy! This way. Sit! Diesel, sit! Sit! Sit. Sit down. Sit. I'm not close enough for you to listen to me. Sit. There you go. I guess there's a range on that command, huh? I have to be within a certain distance. Hop in. I gotta send the bills in through the transfer thing before I leave and leave them in the box. I just wanted to double check to make sure there's going to be someone there if I waited because I'm actually pretty low on hours so I'm probably just going to park and then I'll head over there off of a break. What's today? So it's 23rd. Bunch of gunshots again. Like they're practicing is just random bang 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 bang. Mm. You never know these days. Since I don't know when they're gonna get to this, I can check the bills a little bit. Because the box the bill box is supposed to be sealed, but they're not always got that great of a seal. And it's sugar, so they might be in that trailer for a month for all I know. You know. I mean, it has a gasket, but it's almost like weather stripping, not like a, like a rubber gasket for watertight. Oh, come on.
Love, love, love. Love. Good trip. I was super bummed that I wasn't gonna get any pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. And I wasn't even going there to shop for that. Shopping for some other stuff and found a pumpkin pie. And whipped cream. You in for a treat, buddy. Can't possibly eat all this by myself, so you're gonna help me. What's a pumpkin pie? Come here, pumpkin. Oh goodness. Wait. Give me shake. Give me shake. Oh, good boy. Has it. What do you think of that, buddy? Is that good stuff? And that's why you're on the floor. <laughs> right there. <laughs> Don't taste it or nothing. Just swallow it as fast as humanly possible. Go. This is too many bites, huh, bud? Happy Thanksgiving, Diesel. Ooh, that's cold. say it like that is because I never took it very seriously and I never put that much effort into learning. I just kind of played what I wanted to play, tried to learn a song here or there. But I never like targeted my practice to get better at certain things. And I always had somewhat of a talent for playing guitar. Like I'm not a prodigy or anything, but you know, the friends and stuff I had who also played were always behind me, right? Like, guys that's played just as long as I did but just weren't progressing in the same way. You know, they didn't hear music the same way I hear it. But I never took it seriously enough to try to learn. So I'm trying to make a concerted effort to learn as much as I can and get better at certain things. It's one of the reasons I got an electric guitar, because I played acoustic for the first, I played mostly or only acoustic guitar for the first 20 some odd years. No, the first 18 or 19 years. Right, until I bought this. I had an electric guitar before, but I didn't play it for very long. It was a cheap pawn shop one. This is a cheap guitar too, but it was new. I hadn't been beat up yet. I hadn't been beat up yet. So I've been trying to 
practice. <laughs> to make I've been doing great with my diet like most of the time I'm not feeling that hungry and I had that pie yesterday and this morning 
and it's like all day I've just been starving. Like I'm trying to eat, make as good a healthy choices today as I can. But let me tell you something, you're dieting and you can stay away from the sugary stuff, do it because the moment I ate that shit, it's like my body, whatever that shit feeds, woke up and was like, feed me more, feed me more. So I'm eating some raisin bran, trying to not feel hungry for a while. just somehow slipped my attention that this thing doesn't actually deliver until Sunday morning uh, Saturday morning and he sent me a message we were trying to figure out if they'd take me today and they won't he says they won't take it take me early <sighs> sucks maybe they'll have do a relay at some point probably not but it's like fine I'll just get a 34 hour reset in then because I'm like two hours away from where I was going to go I'll do a reset and then go deliver it still have most of my day available When you're backing up, if you put the tandems directly in front of the truck you're trying to go around, that's where you'll be. You started like 10 feet ahead, right? So that's why you had to kind of pull up a bunch. So you want the space between your tandems directly in center of the hole next to the one you're backing up. Make sense? And then you can push it around it. Because if you're in front of it, when you go to go around it, it wants to hit the truck instead of the back. You set yourself up a little better next time. This is the kind of shit that will drive me away from a company real quick. I've been on this load for three days. And I'm just now finding out that they don't take comm checks. I found out from the night dis dispatch. So dispatch knows that. And they didn't set up anything as a contingency. 
Their options are see if they'll let you pay with a credit card or wait until 8 o'clock in the morning when you pay with a company credit card. Excuse me. I don't even know if they'll take that, by the way, but we're about to find out. Well, they take credit cards. I really don't like spending my own money, even though they're going to refund it. I just don't like doing it. It shouldn't be done that way. I shouldn't be paying out of my pocket and waiting for a goddamn refund. That's not how this should work at all. I'm sitting here doing nothing. Take a minute to check it. the oil in my AP because it has a slow leak. <laughs> 